Hello everybody, hope you're doing well. Welcome to kind of like a quick like MCOC kabamish type newsy roundup thing and uh, yeah I would have done a lot more work on stuff today but I'm um, like YouTube wise uh, but I've been trying to work on my career stuff my game capture side of things so I've been creating my portfolio um, so I've, yeah I've been, I've been doing that. Uh, I got some more kind of like more kind of better video ideas like probably for next week or something but yeah it's just taken a long time to create that and I wanted to kind of get on with stuff but I wanted to also kind of like bring everyone up to date with stuff that I know uh, from stuff that's going down I think one of the big things at the moment is the problem with the objectives so as you know the battlegrounds objectives are not there what the heck's going on with that and maybe by the time that you see this video or I get this video out that uh, it is indeed been uh, been sorted so that's something that Kabam are kind of like you know looking in to. The kind of latest with that is that uh, Kabam Jacks per uh, 6 38 pm. So that was like pff, what, four hours ago. Uh, thanks for bringing it to our attention. We are looking into this. I'm also missing objectives. So I don't know. By the time I get this video out, um, it may be a case that that's, uh, that's resolved, maybe. Don't know. But that's, I'm sure a lot of people are going to be wondering about that. Um, also, seen a few reports about AI. Seen this. Um, some people saying that erratic AI in side quests and battlegrounds. And yeah, AI never is having to wait a moment to initiate another combo. Had Doom shred my health through block because it went medium light, like medium light, me uh, without pausing, or my favorite yet, getting SP3 through stun. Um, so I, I don't know, maybe there's something kind of like amiss at the moment with kind of like. Just how people are finding the AI. I don't know if Kabama dicking around with the AI profiles again, which we, you know, if you've seen a video recently that I did on the channel, it's it's very much a possibility that uh, yeah, it's just not really enjoyable AI. New discoveries: the AI is able to dex after a medium hit, while I'm still in the uh, middle of a combo or trying to chain into uh, right uh, was that M into uh, special. Yeah, I I've had that. I just don't think we've got like a quality when it comes to the AI. The AI is the AI, um, and in, with uh, Kabam and MCC. Um, but whether or not Kabam kind of see it that way, as we've seen in the past, how they can kind of treat the AI kind of like an, an input stuff is like, oh no, it's just um, it's not inputs. It's, an, it's to do with champions and animations. Well, all champion animations are broken and need to be fixed. Um, we say that as a joke each time. I'm sure that Kabam know where the problem is it's just a case of like it's problem solving it uh and yeah here's the thing like you should recall the uh, record for these kind of things because a lot of people are having this is the problem like, now i don't think anybody wants to constantly record what they're doing it's just not enjoyable it's just not fun i don't think anybody um should be forced or yeah, be forced to do it because it, where does it go? Oh, here, here. By the way, it's reporting of uh, the problem. Here's the visualization. Am I going to get any compensation for the scuffy AI? No, because we're going to find a way to say that it's your fault. Oh, right. So it's not the AI speed being ramped up. It's not this, this, or this. No, no, no. It's your fault, and you'll never get back any items. Oh, how sarcastic I, I am on these things. But in any case, moving on. Um, something I, I think is I don't know if this is going to be like a, a breaking news or will be a breaking news. And that is that, well, again, I don't know, like, take this with a pinch of salt at the meantime, I don't, because I don't know, right? I need to vouch for this story 100%. So Scott W. Bradford, who used to work for Kabam, uh, did put that Kabam Vancouver seems to have been hit with a massive layoff. I'm absolutely gutted for my friends and former colleagues and will do anything I can to help. If you need VFX artists, designers, producers, or more, you are support for choice. These people are some of the best. So I don't know... Because the thing is, um, yeah, I I haven't seen anything about that, especially because this was posted at 8.43 p.m. It is now half past 10 p.m. UK time. So that was two hours ago. And I, I've been kind of like sitting on this for a little while to kind of like have a look at uh, things like if you search up Ka Kabam Vancouver and see if there's anything like news wise, it's only got like this, this kind of the stories back from last year where it says like, you know, the workforce is being kind of like, you know, stripped down. Even if I kind of search up on, on Kabam, um, pff, nothing at the moment on it. But to give you an idea, like when I got laid off three weeks ago from the job that I did, it did take a little, I think it did take a little while. It might have taken about pff, a day, maybe, 
to kind of like get out to like the press because there was a press release and as well there was kind of like um rumor about who and what kind of game we were working on um so and, and some people may have seen seen that but um yeah I, I don't know but that's something that we'll have to kind of like come back to you on the friday mcn to kind of like deep dive what's going on with it but this is the industry to kind of give you a bit of an insight you know um from someone that i i I was working for a games developer, a game studio for one and a half years on a project that was already two years in development. But the industry at the moment is very kind of like uh, stripping back. And I don't know if this is stripping back because, you know, spending habits or something. But when you're looking at some studios, they are doing very well financially. It's just a case of because this game goes to net marble as a branch of, you know, uh, inflating, not inflating, but kind of like showing off the share hey isn't the share price doing well but it's like what they'll do is they'll go right well we will we'll lower down our um our outgoings so it looks like so we can then make sure that we're more profitable which then helps out for the share price all that kind of stuff all that kind of like piddly crap that is yeah it's all good for those that have shares stock or whatever but for the you know people out there that are trying to pay mortgages they're trying to like you know just live i mean in uk we've got a cost of living crisis uh you know i'm working what well i was working two jobs i now want to work uh two jobs you have to be out there and it's like it's tough it is really tough and it's really tough for the gaming and tech sector if this is indeed the case as i said i don't know yet because this is something that uh you know could be announced shortly <laughs> don't know kabam layoffs maybe possibly don't know uh, but yeah, that's really what I was kind of like bringing you. The first of all was the story about the Battlegrounds missing objective, which Kabam are looking into, which by the time kind of like this um, this video comes out, it, it, may, be, it may be there. Uh, and uh, yeah, that's, that's really it. I'm going to hit the hay in a minute because it is light. I want to go to bed and tomorrow I want to hit hard with making some MCC content. Now that I've done all my kind of like game capture portfolio creation and, you know, throw myself out there to try and get some, uh, get some work, get some jobs, um, a job, not multiple jobs. Uh, but yeah, get back to the MCOC and that's the plan. And this has been your second and last video for today. And if you didn't see the MCN this morning go and check it out it, there's nothing really going on there except for kind of like the fact that we do not have the oh that's the other thing just finally uh we do not have the uh battlegrounds store update if you saw the pinned comment of the news show today you'll know that uh there is more of a delay on that one than meets the eye i think it was because somebody on a live stream that uh, a command member was either doing or part of said that it would be longer down the line so that's the reason why and we're waiting for more information but in any case that has been a video um have a lovely day i'll see you tomorrow for more fresh content and uh yeah peace and bye bye everybody have a great evening and check out some other content located on screen right now much love and goodbye